early today and showered. Sorry, give me a second. Oh man, sometimes it feels so good to yawn. And I'm in my little meditation room. Got the little candles burning. I reset my whole little, I don't know. They call it an altar, it, that kind of creeps me out. I don't know, it's just like a thing where I put things, a table. And I have things on there that remind me of like goals I'm working on or things that are important to me. Anyway, so I just have some candles on there. They are burning. And I actually was just sitting here and I did a little Zoom meeting with this creative uh, group that I'm in. And um, just got off that. It started at seven and so my hair is still wet. We need to get ready. because We have a really fun day plan. I get to go to YouTube headquarters today. And I think I brought you guys there before um, last year. There's a, a holiday event where they're I don't know, there's gonna be brands there and they're gonna like, we're they're gonna give us like best practices for certain things and we're gonna learn stuff and meet fellow creators. So I'm excited. I always have so much fun when I get to go there and it feels like an honor and surreal every time. So um, whenever they have anything going on, I always wanna go. So I didn't have time to do my general morning routine today, but the group that I meet with is just like so grounded and fun that I feel like that was my little morning activity. I did ground, not even outside, just here, like just a quick, grounding breathing stuff but we gotta get going because we've got a busy day today and you're coming with me so let's get ready this little guy was making some little noises while i was on my call hi puppy <laughs> you already had breakfast asked me if I would do that to his hair sometime. He wants me to dice it. Actually, babe, what we need to do is teach you how to do it for me because my arms are tired. Sometimes when my hair gets too dry as I'm in the middle of doing this, I need to like re-mist it. I use this um, way too expensive. Actually, it feels so good on my face. Thermal space spray. I keep it in the fridge. But what I like about it is that it's such a fine mist that you're not just like drenching your hair. You're just like misting it like me. And I barely use it, so whatever. But it is really helpful to like re-mist your hair. You can get a mister, like a reusable mister bottle on Amazon, I know. But sometimes when the hair gets dry, if you're working your way around. I have not Dysoned my hair, I feel like for a really long time, especially like since it's been this long. So I'm really excited to see the final result. And yes, we're still using a paper bag as our makeup bag. Don't ask me why I'm living like this. Maybe one day I'll understand. But for now, you know what? We're getting the job done. It is what it is. Honestly though, I do sometimes wonder why I'm like this. I do. What's our redness doing today? It's actually, doesn't look that great. <laughs> I was gonna say it doesn't look as bad as it has been. I do think it's been a little better, but I did just like give myself like facial massage because I can feel my skin is like a little puffy today. I ate ramen last night and then had something sweet. It's sir. I think it's like the sugar and salt and you know, life. It was homemade ramen though and it was freaking amazing. Uh, Sparky made it from one of our little like homemade recipe things that we do. And it was honestly like so good. It had this like ugh, glazed like pork belly on top and it was like all like fresh. Um, bok choy and fresh pickled like homemade like quick pickled radishes it was like a fresh healthy ramen moment and it was phenomenal i'm actually gonna put a picture of it here because i can't stop thinking about it and it was so good we do blue apron which i think i've shown like talked to you guys about before and they hit it out of the park really often i broke my own rule just now and i did my like base like preps i put something on my skin essentially before i did my eyebrows and i'm gonna pay the price because now this is like kind of greasy and it's not gonna stay like you need a lot of like grit and grip for the eyebrow powder to like do its thing i think i'm gonna put a little bit of powder like just regular powder around that area so that there's just more grip and dryness because otherwise I find it really difficult to try to add anything to my eyebrows I used to like just go like do my foundation and then do my brows and that's why I've started doing my brows first because any anything on the skin other than just like really like nicely dry or powdered skin it does not do the brow thing I want it to do so I want to be there by like 10 30 
I think the first panel's at 11. They said registration opens at 9.30 and you can like have breakfast and like there's like stuff to do before. But that meeting, my meeting this morning ran over and I'm trying to be a little more gentle with myself around like letting things be what they are because that's life, man. That's life. Oh, right. Let's get some brows drawn on. Did that actually help? Oh yeah, it kind of did. Still a little slippier, li slipperier, more slippery than I'd like. Oh no, she's drawing in nicely. She's drawing in. Hello. One of you asked me a question about how I laminated my brows like partially. And what I did is I literally just did like this, this part here. Cause this part, I don't have any problems like obeying. This is the part that grows in a little more stubbornly. And yeah, you could totally do the whole thing. I just find like if I do the whole thing, sometimes these get a little bit like wonky. I'm just gonna get closer to do this right now. Of course I didn't charge my makeup mirror. So there's no light right now. And it's like making everything harder cause it's like a gloomy day. Hoping for the best. Okay. They're looking all right. I like to like do the filling in first and then add the like gel or whatever later. I'm just gonna go in with my favorite um, concealer, which is the Huda Beauty Full Filter, Full Filter Corrector. And it does leak out the sides. I hope they corrected that, but I love it so much that nothing can deter me from using it. So who cares? I'm just kind of dotting anywhere that needs concealing. This is specifically for like dark uh, under eyes. And I have uh, another concealer. I've got a few others. I do have um, Shape Tape and I have a, a YSL one, but whatever one's within reach, I kind of don't have a preference right now. And I'll just kind of add to kind of dot it around. There's like, I want to conceal the redness a little, which I think we're already on good track with. It's doing a lot better. It really is. And then I'm just gonna, I was gonna use this, but it's dirty. Um, I'm still gonna use it for my blush but it's like it has blush on one side and eyeshadow on the other so i don't want to like further taint it so i'm just gonna use my finger to blend i really need to clean i have like all my brushes and beauty blenders are in a bag of like a too clean i really need to do that i should have done that my little reset day the other day anyway whatever shoulda coulda we're not gonna shit all over ourselves like we're doing the best we can out here okay i am anyway and I know you are too. I don't know. I used to feel like, oh, I should do everything exactly the way all the girls like, do everything. I don't care. Like, I really am just like, I don't have any cares left to give. Like, I'm just like, whatever. Let me just do me. It's good enough. You know? I use like so little foundation. Um, this is the Dr. Jart BB Premium Beauty Blonde. It, ha it has SPF 40. I'm obsessed with it because it really is in my opinion like the best uh, con uh foundation to like map like um what sort of neutralize okay neutralize redness in my opinion so it's just so good like i just barely tapped a little on and it looks so good i use as little as possible i don't tend to like do my forehead and stuff just because it doesn't really need it so i'm like kind of like as needed you know what i mean as needed basis for like skin. I like to keep it as like natural skin texture, like let kind of some stuff peek through. It's just, I'm over trying to like cake my face. I've been over it for a long time, but it's, I find like I'm using less and less and less products. So I start with like a little concealer, blend it in, and then just like touch, like literally just dot this on. And I didn't even use like a full pump. Well, it just fell on the floor. Five seconds till my cat probably tries to use that as a toy I give him shockingly no he hasn't gone for it yet and then i just um i'll do like blush to almost like redirect where the eye views redness and that's my favorite thing right now i did see this uh technique on instagram where they were saying like don't uh do like underneath the hollow of your cheek for contour anymore but instead do like put a finger here and a finger here and like do it in here so we're gonna try that and i'm just gonna eyeball this side because i feel like i don't want to well, I guess that did give it a little bit better point. Whatever, we're gonna do that. We're gonna try and give ourselves a little bit of a jawline, you know? Why not? Why not? And then if I put any makeup up here, it's usually just like all kind of like shadow in a little with my contour. That's kind of it. I don't really, of course, as I do my nose, I'm gonna do my nose. Sometimes I like to add like shadow just to kind of give it, nah, I don't care. Ha ha ha. I'm just on one today. Wish I had a clean beauty blender more than anything. So I'm breaking my own rule and I'm using my blush brush. And then this, guy has to get washed tonight i'm going into the hairline up forehead just give it like a little bit of a glow because let's see how we feel about that contour i know if you're watching love is blind what are your thoughts on the couples well actually it's probably going to be over are they doing two drops or three because they dropped it in two episodes so did you watch it i guess by the time this comes out um as this comes out it's wednesday october is it the ninth yeah i think it's the ninth 
um, and the new episodes are dropping tonight. So we are, yeah, I think like the biggest, like, I don't know. We were, we had a shock last night. I guess I'm not going to give any spoilers, but give me your thoughts. Cause I have so many. It's one of Sparky and I's favorite things to watch together. We just have always loved love is blind. So we're really into it. Okay. It's time to add some blush. I'm using the say beauty, um, blush in the color sweetie. Um, I also, I like to mix, so I have the one in the color baby as well, which is like a very baby pink, which I've shown you guys before. I'm not feeling that today. I also really love Happy by Rare Beauty. This one is probably going to be empty at some point soon because I've been using it so much. This one just like a little bit more like kind of corally tone, like it has a little bit more like brown to it. It's like a little bit more words are eluding me at the moment. So I think I'm going to mix these. Um, I don't know why I always have to mix them. It's just like, it feels, it's just nice. You can see like the colors are pretty similar, but one's just like a little, a little more deep. This was a little more like pinky and this one's a little more like mauve going into like the brown terracotta family-ish. And I'm just going to blend this up. And if I go overboard, which is often, I'll kind of just blend it up into my eye area. Like I don't care. And then I like to put a little over my nose, just to kind of, and then if I also have excess, I'll kind of go down here. I guess it's called like boyfriend blush. And they say like, if you have a big chin, which I do, you can kind of even like do that so that it's not just so concentrated and your whole face kind of works together. It's really minimal what you end up putting down there, but I don't know. I kind of started doing that and I don't, I kind of like it. I feel like it does kind of help. So who knows? Every day I do just a little, I do like the same general thing, but just a little bit different probably every day. And I don't mind that. If you haven't noticed by now, when it comes to certain things, I am highly not a perfectionist. Some things I am, but when it comes to my makeup, I'm kind of like, whatever. As long as I feel pretty at the end, I don't really care. I really probably should do something about this makeup situation because I'm using this one say like brush for, for my blush and then the other side for my eyeshadow because I literally am in dire need of cleaning all my brushes, but whatever is that our is that our phrase today whatever i'm just doing um this is a shades by shan uh life of the party palette i think i got it honestly at like a gifting event of some sort and it just has like a warm brown why won't this focus do you want them to see the shadow or not it doesn't want you to see it sorry <laughs> um but there's like a light one here and uh i just kind of use that as like a base and then i'm going in with this warm brown very serena so what did I just say? I said Serena. Very Sabrina Carpenter of me to like, just do like a warm brown all over, but you know, it's working. So doing it in my crease. And then if there's a little extra, I just kind of drag it down into the lower lash line. That's really it. I keep it real simple. Some days I don't do eyeshadow at all. I would like to play a little more with some fun colors and stuff, but I don't know what I'm wearing today. Again, reminding myself like oh remember when sometimes you pick your outfit out the night before and it makes it so much easier just a gentle reminder but no shame never any shame just that, like you know it comes from a place of love it's like how could i make this easier on myself next time dear girl and that's what i am asking myself okay so got uh looks like we need to do a little more blending why didn't you guys tell me you were gonna let me leave the house like that just kidding i don't care um, yeah, we're gonna blend a little bit more. Yeah, I think we might have made it worse, I fear. It'll be fine. Uh, okay, now we're gonna go in with, uh, I use the Lash Edol Ultra Precise the Waterproof Liner from Lancome. Um, it's just a nice, like, light-ish brown liner, and I really like it to look, well, you can't see anything, can you? I really like it to look like it's a, like a powder line, but I just don't have the desire to do a real powder line because it's like you can't even see this this is not my best work i'm not gonna lie don't know what's going on with my like angles and like you know we're just trying to get where we need to go and done is better than perfect okay i'm sorry that's a really good line i just want it to look like so natural just like a nice little flick just a continuation of my eyebrow eyebrow <laughs> my lash line i think we did a good one they are always uh sisters and never twins what do they say cousins and not sisters i don't know because like i always have trouble once I get the one eye perfect, it's like then the other one, it's like, like yeah, this is not this is not happening the way I want it to. I'm gonna do my brow a little fluff. I fixed the uh, eyeliner moment. Oh, I think this is the wrong one. Yes, it is. I keep trying to open my old one. Why don't I just throw it away? So I was using um, 
this one and now I'm using this one. This one doesn't have a label on it anymore, but they're both, um, this is the Fluff Up Brow Wax by Benefit. And I actually like this one a lot better. I've been using this one. This is just, their, I think this is their 24 hour brow setter. So I need to like set that aside to actually throw it away because I keep trying to use it. These are the things that I don't understand about myself. But whatever, like I said, self-acceptance is what we're working on today. Just like don't have the energy. I realize how much energy I spent like shaming myself and being like, I wish it was different. Oh my God, why didn't I? It's like, uh, who cares? Like, it's just exhausting <laughs> to live in my own head when I am berating myself constantly. It's like, oh, okay, well, whatever. I throw it away now. It's like, it's just tiring to constantly exist in a world where I'm so hard on myself. So I'm just like practicing lately. Like, what would it look like and what would I have energy for if I didn't spend so much time being hard on myself? That's something that keeps coming up for me. Let's get these guys fluffed because it really does make all the difference. Ooh, so satisfying. <gasps> mm. Yeah, we really just have, uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of highlighter on. Hi puppy. Did you guys hear that? He makes the cutest little sounds when he like jumps up. And we're gonna put a tiny bit of highlighter, mascara and lips. And we're good to go. I took my bangs down because I was worried that that thing was gonna like crease them, but now they're in the way. You guys are starting to notice how, how often I talk to myself. A lot. I sing to myself, I talk to myself, like, why not? Be your own best friend, that's what I say. Oh, we're going in with this again. Really just using it for everything. Oh, wow, I'm not gonna lie. The skin's looking nice today. What are you doing, pup? No, he's playing with the cord of my Dyson. Everything's a toy to him. You know what, frankly, I admire that about him. He just wants to play with the world and interact. Everything's new to him. Reminds me to be a little less jaded. Okay, skin looks nice. Add some lip, add some uh, mascara. If you want to give your lashes a little boost, I do love the Sills Booster XL from Lancome. I've been using it for decade, over a decade. Well more than that. Probably ever since it like almost first came out. Like literally, it's, I don't know. It's been out for a long time. Um but it's really nice. It adds like a little base layer to your lashes and I think it really like can help the mascara stick a little better. Back to my bag here. Let's, let's, the elbows deep in our freaking bag. Okay, really gotta do my little makeup clean out just because I'm like, it's not a fun experience to be digging around in a paper bag when you're doing makeup. Like I don't care. I don't judge myself for it, but I'm also like, why not have everything laid out in a makeup bag? Like, why not make every single experience in our life as fun and luxurious as possible? I think I shared this before, but I've been using this Ilia mascara. This is a sample size that I got at an event or like in an Ipsy bag or something. It was like an Ipsy bag that I got at an event. I don't subscribe to Ipsy, but it's awesome. I just really don't need any anything, anything at all. Um, but I love the wand. I keep using these little like samples because it's truly like my favorite mascara right now. And I probably will get a full size when it's gone because I keep coming back to it. My favorite before was Tower 28 and I love it still, but um, this has been one. And I like that it's clean. It's like if it's this close to my eye, I like that it's clean. Also, I mean, I think it's obviously skincare. Skin's our largest organ. Um, a lot of the stuff I used today was clean. The brow pencil, the blush, the foundation is not. So I wish I could find a foundation that I truly loved that was clean. I was using a powder foundation that was clean that I loved, but then I stopped, like, my skin goes through phases and there's times, and I don't know if it's seasonal or what, but sometimes I really like to use a powder and sometimes I like to use liquid and I'm back on my liquid game after months of being into the powder game. So um, I'm loving doing my mascara like to the side, like brushing it outward, like towards the liner instead of straight up. And I think it creates like a really seamless, elegant look with the eye makeup. I don't know if you can see the difference, it's kind of going this way instead of like straight up. It looks nice. Here's another thing I'm noticing. Is it this mirror? I'm like, I have to like literally contort and crunk myself down to like reach it and it actually hurts my neck. Why do I continue to do this? Sometimes I stand up and do it there, but I don't really like doing it in my bathroom. Just don't feel like I get like the lighting and like I can't like get close enough to actually see that everything looks good. So I guess I'm just gonna like, I was talking the other day about how I want my closet room to be like my cloffice. Um, like the room where I keep like, I have like all the built-ins for the clothes. And I feel like adding to that, wanting to figure out, what is he eating? Playing with a cord. Sorry, I have to be on alert at all times because he's always getting into something. Finding like a place to do my makeup that actually feels like 
fun and beautiful and inviting and enriching. I'm just noticing all of the ways in which I am settling for things I absolutely don't have to. And I'm treating myself like, not like someone that I love and cherish. You know what I mean? Because if I was like, if I had a daughter and I was setting up her little area, I'd be like, I want her to do this there. Like I would care, I would care. So I was like, why don't I care that I'm doing my makeup out of a paper bag and a plastic bag on a mirror that makes me scrunch down and hurt myself every day? These are just questions we're asking ourselves. We're not shaming ourselves. We're just getting curious. So my curiosity for you is, are there areas in your life where you feel the same way? Where you feel like you are almost like denying yourself things that would add pleasure to your life? Because I don't know, is it coming from a lack of like worthiness? Is it laziness? Like, is it for me? I think I'm coming out of a time where I was so rushed and like nothing mattered. I didn't have time. I didn't care. I wasn't worth it. Like, the only thing that mattered is like, did I plead, like, did I meet my client's deadlines? Like, was I doing what everyone else needed me to do and not what I actually wanted to do for me? And I think I was just like, oh, I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. And it's like, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. And now I especially do. Uh, cause I've really restructured my schedule, but yeah, it's like, I am worth it. You know, I am. And so are you. So we're just putting that. I remember when I first cleaned out that little room there, it used to be like storage and I'd keep like my lights and like all kinds of like back stock and stuff. And then now it's like springs me so much joy. And so I want to embody that as we redo the closet clean out, which I've realized like why, where my hesitancy is like, it's going to be so different than it was last time. Like I'm a different person and I'm really glad that it is this much later. It's literally almost a year later. And I am so grateful that we are restarting a year later because I... I'm in a completely different space and I'm a different person. And so I'm excited to see what that brings. Cause it's about so much more than like making space. It's about, it is really about making space, but it's also about like, who am I now? What do I actually want to wear now? Versus like, what do I think people expect me to wear? What do I think I should be wearing to like keep up with trends because I work in this like social media landscape? Like, no, who am I? What do I actually want? Those questions are harder to answer than I think I realized. My favorite mauve lipstick, it's House Labs uh, Le Monster Lip Crayon. And this is in mauve matte. I love it. I love that it's like a matte lip, which as we know, like matte lips are kind of a thing right now. Um, again, why do I, everything, whatever, moving on. I, I am obsessed with like the blurry lip look. I'm gonna like blur the edges of this. I just think it looks really nice. And um, I'm gonna add like a little bit of gloss on top. This is clean, this is Ilia. And I wonder if um, House Labs is clean. You would think that she would do that, but also who knows. This is their Balmy Gloss. It's a tinted lip oil and the color is Petals. And I'm just gonna do like just a little, just to add like a little shine. I don't want it to be like goopy glossy, but. And now we get the final thrill of the hair reveal. Oh my goodness. Why is it so like cloudy outside? I also have this giant zit on my like jawline. Why not? Okay, I actually think that my makeup looks really pretty today. And I don't know, I think I always used to feel like so much imposter syndrome. Like if I didn't like perfectly bake and do everything all the other girls were doing that like, I'm just giving myself a little scalp massage because I feel like it would feel really nice right now. I just saw this and I was like, hey, and I'm doing it. Oh my God, it feels so nice. <laughs> and yeah, I think I'm just like embracing like I'm exhausted trying to keep up with everybody else. Like I'm exhausted trying to like do all the little social media trends and like like be relevant. And I'm like, what would it, why can't I just be, like why can't I just actually like do what it excites me and like really just get really honest with myself about what I like and don't like and not be afraid to have opinions and not be afraid to like just lean into what I love and trust that like, it's okay if I'm different or like not on trend or whatever. It's just an interesting concept. I'm really feeling this like desire to like break out of the like, you know, I don't know, just whatever doesn't feel good anymore. So I'm brushing this and I'm sure I've brushed all the curls out. 100% I did. That's the thing. I'm not, I don't love the Dyson. I'm not gonna lie. Wouldn't recommend it if you have fine, like I have really fine hair, but I have a lot of it but it doesn't hold, like it doesn't hold that like perfect blowout curl look like it does for the other girls. 
but what it does do is it gives me a fire blowout that lasts like a week so it doesn't look like everyone else's but what i just use it as the base and then i use like heatless curls for a couple nights and then i kind of touch up with a curling iron if i need to i do like it because otherwise i let my hair air dry and it looks like a shriveled little rat or I just kind of like blow dry it with my hand and it's just like a stick straw straight looking thing. So I I like it, but if you're looking for like major hold and curl and you have super fine hair that doesn't hold a curl well, I'm just saying buy it from Amazon or Sephora, somewhere where you can return it if you don't love it. I like it because it's an easier way for me to blow dry my hair and it gives me more volume, but it's not, I remember like the first few times I used it, I was a little disappointed and now that I've kind of like accepted what it does do for me like i'm okay with it but as you can see i also probably shouldn't have brushed it but i have to because i'm i like have a compulsion around brushing my hair like i do not like it when it looks pc it's just not my thing but i still think it looks really nice like it's still just like a nice you know it looks pretty good it looks pretty good okay it looks pretty good i'm having one of those days where i try everything on nothing looks good nothing feels good like nothing fits and it's like bringing me down and when i go in spaces like this i always find myself just wanting to wear white cream white it's just like my comfort zone and so i was like throwing on like the same things i usually try and wear and they just weren't feeling good and then i saw this jumpsuit hanging yes it was actually hanging one of the very few things hanging and I was like, I like that. And I've been seeing jumpsuits styled with a belt to make it kind of look like it's jeans, like denim on denim. And I'm kind of liking where I went with this. So tell me what you think. I wore my silver flats. I wish I had some like pointy shoes, but I don't. I don't know how I feel about the shoes with that TBH. I'm not 100% sold. But I do like the belt with the jumpsuit and then this little like Western like bolo tie situation. I'm like, I don't know who she is exactly, but I like her. I, I kind of like her. But I'm not now I'm now that I'm seeing the shoes all together, I'm not liking them as much. And I'm wondering if like the the bolo and the belt feel like too much. I don't know, they kind of tie together. I wish that the that the pants like sweeped to the floor. If the pants were just like dragging on the floor long, I feel like it would look way more elegant. And now that I'm like seeing in the mirror, I'm kind of like, do I look like a 1980s movie? So I changed the belt out for just like a thinner black belt and I'm amazed at how few belts I actually have that are made for like sitting low and not like super high on the waist. And I pulled the jumpsuit down cause it's like kind of like a lower rise situation so that this is kind of dragging over the shoes a little more and i actually think it looks a lot cuter what do we think i still think a boot might be better i do have like a white or silver like booty that would like kind of look like a cowboy boot but also i'm gonna be walking around all day and like do i want to be comfortable i don't know i really can't decide if the flats are like a bad idea also i saw some silly little tiktok saying never to match your shoes and bag and I'm like, that's another one of those examples of fashion rules that we don't need to apply to us. Like we don't have to, you know, it's okay. I think all of this changing and like feeling uncomfortable in what I'm wearing and not knowing what to do is just masking a sense of social anxiety and insecurity. So we're just gonna, we're gonna refute that. I'm gonna like ground into like my energy being who I am and remember that showing up as me is enough. I think it's it's a bit intimidating in spaces like this, even though once I go, everyone is so friendly and I'm sure everyone feels that way to some degree, but it always gets me before a big event with people who I don't know. Like, I don't know who's going to be there. I don't know what to expect. It always makes me feel a little out of my element and gives me a little bit of anxiousness. And we're going to channel that into excitement. And I promised myself that I was just going to show up today and listen and that's all I have to do. And that's enough. I think at these things, there's a lot of big personalities and sometimes it can feel like pressure to like yeah but i don't i don't want to do that so i'm not going to do that and every time i've gone everyone has always been so kind and lovely like i think that they always invite like the most amazing people and everyone is just so like friendly and helpful and wanting to like help one another so i know most of it's in my head probably all of it's in my head but the truth is as someone who's really sensitive being around a lot of energies and like in a big space with a lot of people all day can be a lot even though i can appear like present as outgoing i like a lot of time alone and i like a lot of like kind of quiet calmness so i'm sure a lot of it's just also like you know, not knowing what energy. Like when I went to a concert last week with my friend, I felt the same way going to like a giant arena concert because it's just, yeah, sometimes like I feel overwhelmed by a lot of energy and that's okay. I think it's really cool to learn about yourself and not let that limit you, but let that inform you how to take care of yourself. As I'm in this ride, I'm really 
realizing how, yeah, like how much I'm not fe understanding like how I like to dress and like what I like to wear and how, how I'm feeling in my body. And I just feel like I'm a new version of myself and I don't even know myself in some ways. Yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling a little ungrounded today. So I'm gonna do a little bit of breathing in the car. I mean, I'm already vlogging in front of a driver, so I might as well breathe weird in front of my driver. Um, bless her. And I just got a text that a dear friend of mine is in labor and uh, like a couple weeks early. And so I'm thinking of her and just like imagining all the different things that everyone I love is going through today and just feeling connected to that and feeling connected to trust, choosing to trust. Um, I realized like as I was getting dressed, the narrative in my head was being very mean. And it was like, you know, like, I don't even want to go. I don't belong here. Like, I'm not good enough. Um, nothing fits me. Like, a deep, deep sense of shame around, like, my body and um, not knowing what to wear. And that my closet was messy. And it was almost like each little shame thought was like a snowball gathering more and more snow and getting louder and louder in my head. And I had to just, like, no. Like, I witness it all and say, and like, like, basically, like, imagine that. I was like climbing up into a tower and looking down at all of my thoughts in my mind from above and and seeing these th thought patterns play out that have been existent for me for decades and realizing that I've been working so hard to shift those and that they're not going to go without a fight and that's okay. It's okay not to feel okay. It's okay not to feel confident. It's okay to have a day where you're not feeling yourself. That's all fine. And I'm going to be compassionate and loving with myself along the way. So what I used to do was when I'd have those feelings, I'd almost like kick myself when I was down. So I'd be like, well, yeah, you are messy. And yes, you should have planned better. And you are running late. And like, I would just like go for it. And I'm not doing that anymore. I'm going to be my own best friend. That's the, t I guess that's the, the topic of our vlog today. And I'm just going to be loving and kind and compassionate with myself and trust that like I am tired, stayed up a little too late. I had to wake up really early for a Zoom because some of the participants were on the other side of the world and I was up at like six so that I could shower and get on this call. And I didn't know I have my normal grounding activities and like I got my period. So I'm on like my second day of my period which is also my worst cramping day. And so I'm feeling uncomfortable like physically like I feel bloated and I'm having like uncomfortable cramps and like, yeah, like I'm uncomfortable. That's okay. So I'm just trying to be really gentle with myself and tell myself like when we get there, we're going to get you some water and a little snack because I didn't eat breakfast today. And like, it's just all the little ways at which, and then I'm like, oh, I didn't take good care of myself. Like we're not doing that today. We're tired of that old story. We're doing the best we can. And we are just going to continue to make the most loving choice than most, the next choice that we make is going to be the most loving for our choice for ourselves that we can in every given situation and we'll see if we can turn this uh turn this feeling around today i feel better and i realize another major contributor to my anxiety today is that my sister is in Jacksonville, Florida, and my other little sister just flew back there. She lives with her, and I'm just worried about everyone in Florida. I'm worried about my family there, and yeah. So I said some prayers to everyone there. So I'm sending big prayers to everyone there, and if you are in the area or know anyone in the area, I'm sending so much love and checking in on it all, and just, oh man, I'm so sorry.
They have a whole monarch habitat here. What? Maybe we'll get to see one. on nail that popped off. Somebody else popped it off on their shapewear. I just didn't know it. We put ourselves back together, Humpty Dumpty. We did it. I am so impressed by everyone's contenting. I'm learning a lot. There's like all these little stations. Okay, I'm sorry. I gotta fit check you because I don't want to interrupt you. I just did. I'm so sorry. But like, you just look so chic. Where are these earrings? This in shop koi. When I tell you I'm addicted, so she does a drop. Maybe once I learned everything a month. from you. I've only met you twice, and I've yes. learned a lot. She does her drop usually on a Saturday morning. The popular things like, sell out, and she does not every now every now like, and then. Is there other pieces in there? This, 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 this. I have at least thirty. I am a statement jewelry girl. Shop. Oh, you will love her. You will love her. Hi. hi. She's oh, shout your brand. channel out, and then everyone's gonna. Angela follow Michelle. I do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle for women over forty. But for anyone, like. Uh, don't you want to be this chic? Because I do. I was having so much trouble getting dressed today. I almost yes. wore something like this in white with Is this scrap. a jumpsuit? It's a jumpsuit. But this I'm, is my, when I say my favorite dairy suit item. Me too. Hands down. Me, I was in my closet and I was like, I don't, nothing fits. I'm only doing my period. I'm like, I'm feeling bloated. I don't want to wear anything. And like this was jumpsuit. hanging and I was, this is like one of the only things hanging right now. Everything else on the floor. Look, you were to the Shoes, I got her stamp of approval. I'm good with this. Shoes, baby. Okay. Okay. K O I. K H O I. Okay. I'm gonna find out. All right, you're rolling. I was actually asking about like how you define your style, and then I was like, why didn't I record all of this? Because you guys are always like, I'm trying to figure out what my style is now, and I feel like so many of us are trying to figure out like how we express the essence of who we are through our style, and I think you do such like not even knowing you well, but like I see it, and I'm like, oh my god, like you understand who you are as a person, and then you talk to you, and you're like. It's just, it is. And so I was like, how would you describe your style? Because it is, first of all, can we get a full... This is just so good. So good. Okay. So I have, I have three words. So we're learning a lesson. We can boil our style down to three words. Polished, because I like everything to fit to perfection. Well, okay. Okay, 10 out of 10. I love a feminine look with a touch of masculinity. So this is very feminine, but yes. these pants have this cuff. This is a very masculine. Well, it's also slaying off like almost like a, a nautical, or it's mm -hmm. like, it looks like men's suits yes. made for, yes. for with like with the feminine, feminine body. Yes, mm -hmm. I love that. And love that the last word is fun, because I like to play with patterns. It's like a little fireworks like on little your color, earring. But it, I want it all to look like it's very seamless. It's all flowing. I mean, that's the whole polish. Yeah. 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 And the fun is the accessories. I like, I like both the sessions. Yeah. yeah. Those are my favorite. Has it been like a lifelong journey figuring out your style? Yes, it has changed. So it's changed. Your, style, your style will evolve. <laughs> I'm in that period right you're... now. I'm sick of every, like nothing feels like me anymore. Mm -hmm. you're, you're probably evolving. Yeah. Um, and it's a good thing. So, and then as, as we evolve, we kind of make more money than both of us. And Hopefully. so you're able to afford um, more polished, more tailored pieces. Yeah. Um, so your, your style will evolve yeah. as, you, as you evolve in life. Do you have an iconic? Closet. I need, can I, if I came to Texas, could it's I do a, a closet a tour? Room. Could yeah, I? It's a whole room. You guys, should we start a closet tour series? Because <laughs> I would jones in to do this. It's a room. And this is making me excited. Literally, there's racks on the wall, and then there are two large rolling racks. Because I'm a YouTuber, I do yeah. fashion. So, yeah. But yeah it, it's a room. It's, it's a lot. Okay. I have room amazing to... perfume. Do you have amazing perfume? I used to, and I've been less into it lately, and I don't have anything that I love. I'm tell you what's unique about my perfume. Not necessarily the perfume, but the my you... perfume, the way I display my yeah, perfume. Yeah, I want to know. So, my husband, he watched my channel. Do you want to do a little turnaround? Because we've got like. 
<laughs> this person is apparently the, the genius behind the channel. He's a, he is. He, we call him production. You he's guys a, are a dream team. He's a pilot, yeah. but his father used to still builds houses, so he, got, he, he can do everything with his hands. So I, our son built me the first one, but he builds perfume stands out of wood, and there's um, <laughs> they're beautiful. <laughs> there's mirrors on the front of the stand, Whoa. so they fit the IKEA bookshelf. Perfect size, slide right in. Is it right the, the packs system? No, no, no. no. <laughs> the, the, the Billy bookshelf. Okay. Like you, I'm assuming you have a closet for on your channel. Uh, How are we gonna find? I'm coming over. I'm coming but over. Find me. When you look at my YouTube channel, you can just scan the back behind me. It. You'll see the perfume, okay. and it fits right into the Billy bookcase. Yeah. And so they're, they're, each step is about this tall. I didn't want the acrylic because I was afraid yeah. it's gonna fall. Yeah, yeah. It's just solid wood. Oh, it's beautiful. So okay. they're stacked. You can see the bottles. You're not looking over each one. There are four levels: the bottom, then yeah. the three stairs. Perfect. I feel like very inspired by you. <laughs> Everyone in my audience knows. I can tell that you look really lovely and beautiful that you're really happy to be here. And it just makes me feel like really happy for you and just really happy to like be in your presence because I need some of this energy. Yeah. I'm like in the middle of the closet clean out and I failed last year finishing it. We don't like these sort of fail, but it was I do it I do it twice a year. Uh, I'm about to restart and I'm just like realizing like a lot of stuff doesn't fit, it doesn't feel like me anymore and they've been on the journey that I'm like so behind on the closet clean out but I'm like now I've decided to make this like a closet like an actual closet on this room and I'm feeling inspired now and you should like, be happy when you walk in yes and I can tell that you are so like you're giving me the little zhuzh that I need to finish this okay thank you that was an impromptu podcast but it needed to happen just like stopping everyone whose fits make me gasp and like this is so cute this is from H&M we need this it's so good I mean you just look like I cannot handle this i'm sorry i'm just like ah oh, they were having a little happy hour um and i'm just not feeling great i'm getting really bad cramps my little i just got home my little baby's crying little baby's crying we got to let him out um but i had so much fun but i used to like feel bad about not staying till the end and like just always wanting to like i don't know it was like people pleasing or what but i felt bad like guilty leaving early and i just have to honor my body like I'm not feeling great. I'm having like the worst cramps as I do on day two of my period. Um, and I'm just feeling, oh. So I decided it was time to come home. Um, I left the last panel a little early and they were having like a happy hour, um, which is so nice to chat to everybody. But like, I don't, like I said, I'm just feeling a little off today. I think I'm really worried about what's going on with the hurricanes and my sister and some of Sparky's family's there and some of you all and it just feel, I don't know, I'm just like, I felt the need to get home. Kitten's been in here all day. Let's let him out, poor little guy. Hi, sweetheart. He runs out of here so fast when I open it, like a little circus animal. Come on, puppy, you can come out. Oh, hi, baby boy, I missed you. Oh, are you so happy to be out of there? He's like, I just wanted you to hold me, I love you. So it feels like a day for sweatpants, kitten snuggles and catching up on a little bit of work, but I did think we should open. Okay, so they, when you came in, they gave you this list of all these different items to check off from different brands, and they had like a La Crusette on there. They had, uh, well, I'll show you. I didn't get everything because I felt like I didn't, I don't need everything. You know, I have so much stuff and I wanted to be like thoughtful about what I selected. But I was like, I, th I think I checked off the La Crusette, but I don't know if I got it. Um, I think that they were like, I don't know how it worked, but I was just blown away by like the quality of the stuff. <laughs> so, and some of the stuff I feel like, like for example, they had an R Place pan and I needed a pan for the cabin. So I was like, great. I don't know what color it is, but like, I'm so excited about that. So yeah, I was trying to think about what I actually needed or what I would want to gift, like, you know, and then just try not to take everything. So my bag was like actually pretty small compared to other people's, but I figured we could open it together and see what's in there because I was like, they are just, yeah, it was very generous gifting for sure. And I'm just excited to see what ended up in my bag because I have no idea. So first step is to clearly get our cozies on. All right, we're in our PJs and by P-Mange PJs, P-Bar-Pong-P. <laughs> I cannot talk today. Uh, I'm wearing Sparky's t-shirt, his dirty t-shirt, which whatever. Say what you will. I it's just giving me comfort, and that's just what I need right now. All right, so we're just gonna we're just gonna dig in and see what we got. So look, I think I actually don't know if this is a pan or what this is. Oh, it's actually already opened. 
that's helpful. Okay, cute. It's just like a neutral, a neutral pan. Um, what I might do, I have, I have the pink one here that I bought. I actually bought their whole set a couple years ago. I bought their, we have their dishware. And so I bought, they had like a, an intro set that had like the pan and like four bowls and four plates and four cups. And we love it. We've been using it for a couple years now, maybe more, th two, three years. I bought it before, I bought it before, I think before Sparky and I even got together or shortly thereafter. We've been together for three years. So yeah, so this is a every uh, an always pan, which is so cool. It comes in fun colors, um, but this color is like, this is like more of a neutrally, like a grayish. I wonder if they have the name of this color on here. I don't know what color this is. I don't know what they call their colors. You'll have to look online. They've got a lot of different pretty colors. Um, anyway, I've been wanting, they've expanded so much since I purchased that kit from them. It was like $250, but you got so much stuff. And I had been just redone my kitchen and I wanted things that were like a little more aesthetic and I'm still using all of it. So yeah, I was happy with it. Um, I will say the pan like that I had the pink one got like a little bit of like marks and stuff on it from like cooking and stuff. I heard you could use Barkeeper's Friend, but don't know. It fe This one feels a little more durable than the version I got because I got like their first version. So I would imagine that they've improved their like systems. Anyway, this is gorgeous. Um, I feel like this color may be more for the house though. Maybe I'll bring the pink one to the cabin because it kind of goes more there. I don't know, this is like a nice neutral. We'll see, but between the house and here, I'm really excited to have a second one of these because I have been like getting things to the cabin little by little as like I am, you know, can afford to like continue to buy stuff for it. But every time I go, I'm like, wish I had this, wish I had that. So it's just nice. I'm so grateful for that. Um, and I love their stuff. They have this little blender now. I'm actually gonna link some stuff on shopping. I'll put pictures. They have this really cool, kind of like that beast style blender. It's like a sexy Nutribullet for lack of a better term. They have like a little toaster oven. Um, they have the cutest like plates and dishware, so much good stuff. So I'm just gonna link a few favorites here just so you can find it easily. Um, okay, and then I got this and I don't know what this is. I think it's like a duffel or something, which actually, oh. I don't know what this is. Nomad Lane? Nomad Lane Travel Essentials. Meet the bento bag. Okay, I don't know what a bento bag is, but I'm really intrigued. Where's my phone? There's like a QR code to learn about this. It looks like it's one of those things that you can pack a ton of stuff in in a small thing. And I think I'm gonna give this to Sparky as a gift. Boo ha ha. Because he is not the best at packing. Love him, but he's just, I feel like I always end up packing for him, which is funny because, okay, let's see. Quick start guide. Where is it? V4 bento bag. I'm intrigued. There's, this has to have some kind of, this, this is an expensive bag. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Cool. Okay. I'm interested. Um, wow. I had no idea. When we were filling out the um, thing, I was like, oh, I don't need a bento bag. I don't need a this, I don't need a that. And they handed this to me as I was leaving. I was like, I didn't think this was on my list because I didn't like think I, it was like, I don't need any more luggage. Well, now I'm like excited to know about this. I want to understand like what exactly it does. Okay. The bento bag is the ultimate travel companion with thoughtful features built for travelers. Can be a weekend or personal item bag or an everyday bag. I need to see a video. I need, oh. Here we go. I knew I was going to find one. Oh, this is so sparky. He loves, he loves a compartment for everything and everything in a compartment. Like that's his thing. He has like this dorky backpack. That's not nice of me to say, but he's kind of a dork and he'll be the first one to tell you. He like, and I, we were actually doing this thing last night. Sometimes we'll just like chat in bed before we go to sleep. And I asked him, what is one thing you love about me that you may think, you may think I don't know, or like, I don't know, you, you would think I may not know. And, and so I, when I answered his, I was like, I love that you like like things a particular way and like to do things like the quote right way. Like you take the extra effort to do things properly and like with care and thought, like no matter what you're doing. So like he has a backpack and like, he, like if he'll text me and be like, hey, can you get this thing for like, will you go check my backpack for da da da? It's in the fourth pocket to the right in the thing and the da da da. It's like, he knows exactly where everything is in his little like tech bag. So anyway, all that to say, I think that he's gonna love this for traveling. Look, okay, so here's the video. No glare, okay. So like, I think it, everything has a compartment and there's like a little compartment for everything. Okay, that's cool. 
and it even has like little t toiletry bags and there's like little sections for everything okay this is exciting i'm gonna link this as well um they're on youtube shopping so you can check it out but i think i have a christmas gift for him i just have to find a place to hide it for the next couple months into oh cool look at the inside and i like that it has these light so you can like actually see all the different compartments and the quality of this just feels so nice okay i'm super impressed by this if this was another color, I would keep it myself. And I don't know why I have such an opposition to black things. I just, <gasps> whoa, okay, so here's the center. I'm impressed by this. This is such a nice gift. Whoa, I'm like, actually like, wait, I need this in the color that I want. Maybe we could have matching ones. Okay, and then there's this section here. And then there's these, oh, this is so cool. I love that this is like stretchy nylon. So like, no, blah, blah. I know he's just dying to get in here. Um, there's these little like little other bag sections. So it's basically like packing cubes built in and this is chic and the quality, like the leather handle, it feels so nice. It smells like quality leather. He also like is one of those people that will research stuff on like wire cutter or there's this like other website. Uh, I don't know. He reads like guides and like researches everything to the max. So I feel like he will be appreciative of things that have good quality. So I'm like very excited about this because he's been, he was using one of my old duffels that was just like a very girly print, which he didn't mind, but I could just, it just, what he wasn't, he was like, why aren't there any compartments for this and that? Like he doesn't, he, he, I prefer form over function and he prefers function over form. So yeah. Okay, cool. Nomad Lane. I had actually never heard of this brand. So that's, that's very exciting. We're two for two here. This is the bag that I was like, whoa, those are big. So I actually put this in here because they gave us like some candy and stuff. But here was the bag itself, which is like pretty, pretty hefty. And imagine that other people's were like way overstuffed. I was just like, this is wild. Actually, there's things that I like didn't even, I don't, I don't remember. Actually. This I'm excited about. Okay, this is so cute. <sighs> he also steals all my hats. Like, I don't know why, but he just like always steals my hats. And I can guarantee you he's going to steal this one. So I guess we'll just share it. This is so cute. It's like a Dodgers World Series hat. Like a, a 950 little snapback. Like a new era. This is cute. I'm into this. I just love it. It's this like really beautiful like forest green. Which is a color that I love. And I've just really been loving hats lately. Uh, yeah. There's an actual little La Crusette mini ceramic. Mini round coquette crazy that they're giving away locker guys. it's so expensive oh it's so cute oh my god this is going to the cabin oh my god i'm so excited this is so freaking cute it's like this really beautiful like dusty lilac color oh my god cute oh my god i love this with the little lid hold on I got the little lid stuck in here well i can't get it out but do you know what i'm talking about it's like a little mini of their coquette pans. Like, are you serious? Wow, this is gonna be so cute. Just to put like little dips and stuff in at the cabin to bake like little little bits and bobs. Okay, so cute. I'm really excited about outfitting the kitchen there a little more. Okay, this, I did not, this is so funny. I did not put this on my sheet because I'm like, I don't need that. And then as, I didn't know what it was. Like it was, it's called a, I don't know, keep playing or something. What is it? Oh, a super light, whatever, a pro, I don't know what it is, okay? I was like, I didn't know what the word was. And I was like, I don't need any tech. I don't need anything. And they gave it to me and I need, and then after I was walking out, it was like a wireless mouse. And on my computer, on my laptop, like I actually sometimes hurt my hand doing this. So I was, I was just thinking like, I wish I had a wireless little mouse. The universe works in mysterious ways. So this is Logitech, which obviously, you know, they also make, um, oh, they gave it to me. Okay, this is so freaking cool. Uh, it's a little um, portable keyboard with cover. And you can use it on, um, so you can use it with like your, I think you use it with your phone and you can use it with like your iPad and stuff because yeah, amazing. Sometimes I want to like type and it's like really tiresome to like type with your fingers like this and on your iPad. And I use my iPad for like planning and like doing stuff. So love this. Okay. Um, Selena's essential eye duo from rare beauty, which would be such a good holiday gift. It has their mascara and an eyeshadow stick. Okay, I've been wanting to try their mascara. I heard it's really good. So it has like a little mini mascara and then an eyeshadow stick in this like brown. But I kinda, 
I'm not sure about that brown color. It's like part of me wants to like do a little giveaway or something. Actually, you know what I was thinking? I'm sure there are gonna be so many people that lose so much and have lost so much like in the hurricanes that it would be super nice to um, like send a care package to. So if any of you were affected by that or know someone that was affected by that, um, cause you, if you lost like all your stuff, like you're, I can't even imagine like to be in a position where, well, recently I thought that I was going to lose the cabin and it was so scary to the fires. And I was just being so grateful that like, I don't have that much stuff there. And like, yeah, it would be sad, but like people, I can't imagine like losing all of your memories and photos and like family heirlooms and like, oh my gosh, I could just cry. Like I know somebody that's there and like they had to leave their horse behind and like, I just can't, I actually can't talk about it right now because I'm gonna like break down and cry. Anyway, I'm sending so much love to any of that. And it feels so weird to just like live in a world where all these things are happening and yet we like go about our days and lives. And I think that's something that I struggle with, right? And it's like this delicate balance of like, you know, if you if we stopped everything that we were doing every time like uh, something happened, the whole world is like, but it's like, how can you find that place? I was talking to my therapist about it, of like holding like love and compassion and like, you know, empathy and sending prayers and not letting everything that comes up and every bit of human suffering like devastate you. Because honestly, yeah, it's really difficult sometimes to have to show up with a smile on your face. And that's like why I ghost all the time on all my channels. Cause like I have a lot of days where I'm feeling a lot of emotions and like feeling like, who cares about me opening this little bag when like people are losing their homes and like potentially their lives and like, yeah, so it's tough. I'm not saying it's tough for me. I'm saying it is, it is tough to know when it's appropriate to share these things and when it's not. And like, I don't know, I just, I feel like we can hold it all. And I was at the Casey Musgraves concert last week and you know, even experiencing that joy with my friend and like she took a moment, Casey took a moment and had all of us send love towards a, towards, everything that was going on and it just felt so important so we could all do that together right now actually because they you know i do think there's so much power there are studies about people that meditate together and how that shifts things in the area and like they can even measure like how brain waves shift with things like that and so i think if if everyone who's watching this right now like if we could all together as a community just like take a second and just like send our love our prayers our light whatever you're comfortable with um, to everyone who's being affected by the hurricanes right now, to everyone around the world who's affected by the wars that are going on in multiple places. Um, let's focus on the hurricanes for now. Um, no, send love to what you feel called to send love to. I'm sending love to my friend who was in labor, um, who was admitted early due to a health issue. Um, and I'm sending love to my sister and family and any of you and friends and friends of friends and anyone who's affected by the hurricanes and gosh anyway sorry i didn't mean to take a, such a detour <laughs> but it, this is where my brain is all the time it's always like ah then it's like but what about them and like yeah so i don't know i just wanted to be conscious that as some of you are watching this you are probably some of you have to be affected by this so i just wanted to just take a moment and number one if you know someone who has been affected um and could use support please message me on instagram and let me know and two um i just want you to know that i'm thinking about all of you and i'm sending you love okay and now it feels weird to be like let's see what's else in the bag like this is what is so surreal about living in this world right is that we're like scrolling and it's like disaster death horrible things shootings um oh amazon sale Ooh, it's like it all it, it, it does coexist but it's so weird sometimes do you guys ever feel that way yeah okay i'm gonna take a second because i feel like i got in a tizzy i'm back and i know so many of you come here to be uplifted but i'm not sorry because we're all going through these things together and i think i'm learning that it all coexists just like grief and joy and pain and love and laughter it's all part of this tapestry this puzzle of being human so I hope you took a nice little break yourself. Sorry about that. But also I'm not sorry. So anyway, here we are. There's some beauty stuff in here. And we're gonna, we're gonna look. Oh, the Glossier. Okay, so this is the Glossier U Rev, which is, um, I tried them both on when I was there. And I didn't know I had to try them on after I uh, checked them off. And I checked off like both, cause I didn't know. And then I ended up trying them. And I actually prefer the other one, and so I'm actually going to put this in a pile to donate, um, either to people affected by the hurricane or there's a couple organizations here in LA that I love 
Um, but I, so what I've been doing and I'm about to clean out so much more stuff is putting things in, like all together, categorizing them and then figuring out where they go. Because some I like to donate to an organization in Pasadena. Some there's another one here in LA. Actually, YouTube was taking donations today. You could bring anything you wanted to donate like beauty or like clothing or whatever. And they had like, they were working with Midnight Mission. And also I need to figure out, I'm sure that there is people getting together donations and stuff for people affected by the hurricane. And it's kind of like, I know they need essentials, but like also imagine having to replace everything you own all your clothes and your makeup like i can't even imagine how overwhelming it would be to replace every single thing in your life amidst you know losing all of your memories losing everything so i'm not sure i'm trusting i always ask for guidance around these things about like what where are things supposed to go and what's supposed to happen with it and i'm just trusting that the blessings that i've got today are going to bless somebody in that situation so um again please message me if you know anyone i'm starting to build like a little a little bit of things for that which is you know we do what we can with what we have and obviously like you know we can donate funds and if you're there you can donate time but there i feel like we're all given unique blessings like some of us have certain skills some of us have money that we can share some of us have all kinds of and so like I, I used to feel really bad about getting so much excess PR and like if you guys watch my unboxings and stuff like sometimes I feel weird about doing that because I'm like this is so much stuff for one person and I am so grateful but I feel so like fortunate to get to I feel like I get the gift of gifting it to other people and so I've gotten to do over the years like some really cool things like this one organization I work with sets up this really beautiful boutique for women uh, that are in need and they get to come shop. Like imagine like, yeah, like you are trying to feed your children and like keep a roof over your head and like you're scrolling TikTok and you see people using all these products and you're like, well, we won't have that. And to get to come and like get those brand new things and like it just makes me so happy to feel like this is all not for any, this is not for nothing. Like it's really, it's like, in visualizing that like you know something that i've been fortunate to receive but like don't need everything of gets to go to something good it's like i just feel like we all have things in our lives that we don't necessarily know what we have because for a while i was like oh what do i do like i felt a little overwhelmed or like i felt guilty for having too much and then when i started to see it in that beautiful way of like we're all like passing blessings on to one another all the time in any different way like today the woman that i talked to about her style like she was just living her life and like she's so chic and fabulous and she really inspired me even off camera we had a really inspiring conversation that i'm gonna take with me and i don't know it's just we are constantly blessing people with our energy with our time with just listening just like listening to someone who needs to be listened to is such a gift and i've just been trying to shift my perspective to like not like focusing less on what i don't have and focusing on what i do have and like what am i doing with all those resources and i'm not perfect every day it's like a reminder but yeah anyway while we're really off on one today we're never gonna get through this thing oh this is from quince this is like a little jewelry a travel jewelry thing which i keep throwing mine in a ziploc so maybe that's a sign um but this will also be such a cute travel gift for somebody my sister really loves quince i've never tried it but they have all these really beautiful well-made um items that are like designer but they're they're their own brand and so they're less expensive and i'm pretty sure they have like homeware clothing but they have this really beautiful little travel jewelry case which would be such a great gift um yeah quince is awesome i don't even need to say words and you're gonna know why i'm like okay you want to give me some joe malone okay um and it's wrapped all beautifully i don't even know what this is i wonder if it's a fragrance or if it's like a home fragrance ginger biscuit i'm not gonna lie i was like oh cute am i gonna want to wear that oh yeah hmm they were showing videos of like ASMR like examples and I'm like going to do an ASMR fragrance unboxing right now because like I'm feeling so okay. So this is their little mini ginger biscuit cologne which I think might be part of a gift set because it says not for resale but it's so cute and little. Okay, no more talking. No puppy, no. Fur and Artemisia. That sounds cool. Is it fur like the tree? Is this like a holiday vibe? Mm, oh my gosh, that's nice. <laughs> uh, why did I do that? Okay, this smells like something. It's giving me like a, a memory flashback. Do scents ever give you memory flashbacks? 
it's giving me a flashback to being in London, which is interesting because I know this brand is a London brand. And it's giving me a flashback to being like in a department store in London, like in the winter. It feels so like cozy and warm. This is their fur and artemisia. This is cute. It's all wrapped. I don't know if this is like, is this just like part of their wrapping, this little bow? This little gold top. It's so beautiful. Also kind of aesthetic in the house. This is lovely. I don't know enough about this uh fragrance to be able to describe the notes to you because that's not my specialty but it smells so nice okay i found the notes okay oh it's their official scent of the season fresh fur meets herbaceous artemisia think cozy winter scent nailed it with an aromatic edge perfect for holiday moments top note is fur heart note is artemisia which i'm probably saying wrong but here we are the base note is leather that's what i'm getting it smells like rustic. It smells nice. It's like sweet and rustic at the same time. I'm definitely getting the fur. And then the ginger biscuit. Oh, okay. So ginger biscuit's only available at Sephora. So I'll tag that one on Sephora. And then the fur and Artemisia is from Jo Malone. So I'll, I'll tag them both here. But um, the ginger biscuit is ginger, roasted hazelnut, and tonka bean slash vanilla. I'm really into that little guy. It is, it is so nice. I'm really excited about this one um when i got ready today you saw that i used this oh and you're so little they're cute this is um a rare beauty mini blush and luminize trio and i actually oh shoot i don't have this one though um this is gorgeous uh a liquid bronzer i'm sorry a liquid luminizer so it's like liquid highlighter and then two of their little blushes they are so freaking cute but obviously i used this today when i got ready and i have this um, in a different color this is so these are so beautiful and i really love i really love these products so i have a full size of the blush and a full size of the luminizer that i bought my own bought my own self at sephora um and i don't regret it so yeah but i feel like these colors are like not these are very like i don't know i almost called out the color of like fall cool fall warm fall i don't know i don't know enough about color stuff even though i got it done one time i'm still confused by it um but these colors are gorgeous but i don't think they're like my tone palette so i'm really really excited plus you know i obviously have a full size of the blush and the highlighter that are still existing to me i'm gonna link this though because this would be a really 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 good gift but i feel like since i already have the full size ones that this would be something really beautiful to gift because i would love to receive this as a gift because i love the product so much so this is going to go in the gifting pile but this would be such a great gift i'm going to link this i guess we're doing an unofficial early holiday gift guide right now oh by the way can we talk about how i do think my hair like the blowout held up pretty well okay i'm so sorry but remember how I was like, oh, bummer. I really wanted that other Glossier fragrance. They did give it to me, which is so generous. And I love this one. It smells like I still have it on and it still smells good from when I tried it on a few hours ago. And it's so like, I wonder if they have the, I don't know what it's supposed to smell like, but it's got a little bit of like a masculine kind of musk. I really like this and I'm keeping this one for me because I really liked it. It smells so freaking good. I'm going to open it. I wish that I could, like, I wish that I was more, had a better, like, fragrance glossary. I wish I could describe it better. Yeah, I, I love this. Do I have any real estate left on my arm for, no, I don't. Actually, let's see if, um, Sparky likes this when he comes home. I'm gonna, like, have it on and just, like, it'll be on his shirt. Oh, it's giving, like, a little bit of, like, Santal or something, but, like, a little more original. Ah, I love it. I love it so much um glossier you do I, I freaking love this i really do okay i'm very very into this and i will be this is gonna be my new thing for a little bit love it okay grateful and i also feel like lucky me oh fenty hair okay i've not tried this it's an instant damage repair treatment strengthens repairs to transform hair for smoother shinier hair i have not tried it have you heard anything about this Replenicor instant damage repair treatment. Well, I think we all know that I could probably use that. Being blonde is no joke. And I also also just feel like I don't know. My hair is just like just likes it likes to break. Well she I'm not claiming that anymore. We're trying to like get into a new hera. Oh almost said new almost said hair era and then I was like Hera, why not? Okay. Butter dropped whipped oil body cream. Oil body cream? It smells like just like fresh and good. It smells nice. 
I just like really love a freshly dolloped like thing. I took it off the lid. Um, this is amazing. Um, I think I'm gonna put, I'm feeling intuitively like I wanna put both of these in the pile of like blessing others, but I am going to do some research on this um, comeback kid damage repair treatment because I am very intrigued. Okay, this is exciting. I love this. Okay, I've already shared this with you guys. Um, this is that lip liner, that peel off lip liner by Sasho, Sasha, Sash, I don't know how you say it, Sashu. I'm not gonna try again because it's not, not going well. But this is the exact color I have pinking of you. And so I'm gonna keep this because I use that a lot and I'd love to have one that I can like keep in my travel. My, like, I'm trying to like build my little travel. So it's like, and like, so when I went to the cabin and like, da, 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 it's just like my like essentials, like my second essential. So I'm going to keep this because I already have this and I've also probably used at least half of it. So I really like this. It's so good. Um, it's, I've shared this with you guys before, but it's like a peel off lip liner. It's amazing. And this color pink is the one that I have. And it's like the perfect, like nudish, like natural lip tone kind of color, at least on my coloring it's where it's really i really like it a lot dominique brow frame four in one brow pencil oh this is soft black brown so that's going to be too dark of a color for me um but i have not heard of this brand dominique i'll link it below if you want to check out the brand and i'm going to put this in the blessing others category oh this is Kristen dominique's brand i actually wondered okay that makes sense oh wow i've never seen her i've like never like held her stuff before but i've like obviously like known of her for a while um, this is her cream bronzer like the little the glue like didn't is like not quite stuck to the thing So it came like a little I don't know what happened here, but it's a cream bronzer um, Oh, it just got on the, the little mirror thing. That's totally fine um, But it's like the actual thing that was glued into anyway um, I haven't tried her line yet, but I'm excited. I didn't even know she had her own thing yet So that makes perfect sense. I'm excited about that. Um, a cream bronzer, which I used a cream bronzer today uh, I use the stick form from rare beauty, but this is great if you have a brush You can get a little more precise with this because the one I had was like a chubby stick. So um, Yeah, I'll put this here in case you want to learn more about it or if you're a fan of hers Okay, this is Bobbi Brown's Longwear cream shadow stick in the color golden pink um, I love a shadow stick. I prefer a shadow stick, honestly. Like I have the ones from um, Laura Mercier and I love them. Um, but this actually looks like a really beautiful, t why do I always do that? This looks like a really beautiful shade actually. This is really pretty. It's like a shiny, I don't wanna like use it because I wanna be able to share it if it's not the right shade. But I also need to see because, okay, I'm keeping this. It's like a neutral, since I'm keeping it, I can like really swatch it for you. It's a really pretty like shiny neutral. In fact, let's just try it right now because what I'm wanting to use this for is um, um, I use highlighter on my brow bone and I have sometimes like when I put the liquid it kind of messes up my eyeshadow And this is like a little more precise. So I'm going to use this on the in inner corner of my eye I love highlighting the inner corner and I've been using um, Like just the liquid and it's like really hard to be precise So this has just got a great tip to do that and I specifically Love doing this and I don't have any product for this right now that I use other than just like using my regular Highlighter, which is totally fine with a brush, but it's like this is more precise and I love the color So like look it just really adds a little something. This is so beautiful This is um, in case you want to do this as well because I just like it's one of my favorite you could even I, I bet I could even like use it to like do like I also love doing like the cupid's bow so this is a great thing to do if you just want to do like little precise points because a lot of times like the blushes that I have or use like I'll even mix that in and so like you don't I don't know I think this is like a really great precise highlighter and I love this color it's called golden pink shimmer I like it because it's like a little I obviously have like a lot of pink in my skin and just think it really works with all the colors that I use this is a good one so this is Bobbi Brown I'm gonna link it love this I'm really excited about this I'm getting rid of this box and I'm adding this into my makeup paper bag. Ooh, coach perfume, wild rose. Let's give it a whiff since I have no, like I need to get like a coffee, uh, like coffee grinds because of how much smelling I've been doing. But I'm really excited about this because I have, I used to have a coach fragrance and it was my favorite one in the whole world. So it's like very nostalgic for me. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, actually you can keep this little keychain. I'm gonna put this on my look, it's so cute, look. That is so cute. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this, but if I do, 
but I wonder if I have a friend that has a C initial because that would be very cute. Uh, this is really pretty. Okay, how do we, we gotta find it. We gotta find some empty real estate. Poor Sparky shirt. I wore it because it smells like him and now when he gets back, it's gonna smell like me. Ooh, it smells, mmm. It's honestly giving like berries kind of. Mmm, it smells juicy. It smells like, I feel like this is like giving like juicy like fall winter like i love this color i feel like it's giving like the kind of girl that would wear like lipstick this color and it's just like that person oh you know it smells like that friend of yours that always smells good and you're just like hugging you're like well, you smell so good all the time like it smells like a familiar friend but like she's chic i like this this is nice this would be a, a nice a nice gift for somebody who is kind of like that classic americana old money kind of style i think that's like who she smells like it smells really nice i do like it but that glossy au is feel smells more like me i love this scent but this it smells like my best friend it's you know what i mean it smells like a best friend it doesn't smell like like me like so i'm gonna keep that one and i'm gonna give this one to somebody who would really love and benefit from it i'm excited about that but it does smell so nice and okay we made it to the bottom there's this, a little gift card from this arbor maid and i think it's candles maybe because that's what i think they said in the thing let's see arbor made a better candle for you and the environment that's so cool it's a gift card for one of their candles which is so nice wow that was that was something there's also something in this little youtube it's just like a little like a little card holder in this bag wow awesome that is so so generous oh I lied there's still one more thing and i'm pretty excited about finding out what's inside of it it is the revolve 24 days of revolve beauty the ultimate beauty essentials set so it's like a it's an advent calendar and revolve beauty has some good stuff so i can't even imagine what's in here and i bet they're i wonder if they're gonna tell you they probably won't but also don't you want to know don't you want to know what's in here i do does it say inside this thing just, they have to tell you bingo i found it um i couldn't get the little thing off it and i didn't want to open it because i feel like it's a whole moment in itself and part of me kind of wants to do it on like the ad actual advent day because like i'm kind of excited but it's um i will link it here this is like the ultimate gift this is like a very luxe gift for the beauty lover or for yourself and it's uh so it's an advent calendar i'm gonna show you guys the pictures oh it's so cute oh i see some good stuff in here actually okay let's find the picture come on show me show me oh cute okay this is so freaking cute uh it's a so it's a little advent calendar and every day for the 24 days i'm trying to tap too many screens happening here um and every day it has like a cute little beauty gift this is so cute um and this they have like good stuff so let me actually tell you some of the brands in here like what i'm seeing so i'm seeing uh the dr dennis gross universal daily peel i'm seeing Too faced mascara i'm seeing stila eyeliner or bay what is this uh an orbe product super goop sunscreen the charlotte tilbury glowgasm beauty light wand which is a product that's what i use today as my highlighter um osea uh body lotion elemis um the elemis cleansing balm which is one of my favorites it smells like goop glow oh my gosh i have goop glow it's this um it's like a like a scrub when you get that layer i think i've talked to you guys about it before whoa this is like legit briogeo i see like the little slip silk hair things oh the color wow thing uh dream coat like the color wow okay okay this is like oh agent not sure olaplex okay this is this is a pretty good selection so if you're looking for something to put on your holiday list for somebody you love this could be good if you love little beauty products there's like a bunch of little oh, summer fridays serum like or if you like love beauty stuff and you wanted to try a ton of stuff but like didn't want to i'm wondering so there's 24 days me doing the math of like hmm, how much is it per item is this a good deal or not it's a good deal okay it's a good deal so it's 150 dollars, which is very pricey but you get 24 items and 150 dollars divided by 24 items is six dollars and 25 cents per item and like i guarantee you if you were to buy all of these it would be way more like these brands are like deluxe so like okay i think it's like not a not a bad idea if that's within your means 
this would be like a very luxurious gift to give or receive as somebody who loves beauty wants to try a bunch of things i'm gonna link this and uh stay tuned because when it comes down to those 24 days i may if i keep this i may open it or i might gift it to someone who loves beauty or obviously we know that we've got a little i've got a few different donation piles going right now that was quite a haul i'm going to pack this cute this tote bag is like really good and big and cute but again it's pot flex active i have been really wanting to try some of their stuff i've never tried oh okay wait i lied again uh i did that little like they had a little sephora like game thing oh my gosh this guy who went in front of me got a drunk elephant kit like they were giving some good stuff away i got the sephora eyelash curler which i had told them like oh it's okay i don't need it because i already have one and then i realized i lost mine but then also i feel like i can probably find mine because i feel like this is like a standard item that a woman would need so i'm putting it in the giveaway i'm feeling compelled to put it there same with this um skin like cleanser it's like the everyday basics that people need i feel like i have enough cleansers um total coverage beauty blending sponge set i was literally just telling you about how i needed sponges but again i'm like there are people are going to be really needing the basics um oh and then a lip liner again i don't really do this is kind of like a little like more of like an, an espresso-y kind of brown and i don't wear a ton of brown so i'm gonna put this in the bag too so we are filling this bag back up with the things that are going to bless other people and this is really inspiring me to go through my other um supply my other like my supply closet in um because so i have my closet room which we're going to do a clean out which i was talking to that beautiful icon today about um and i have uh, i want to go through all my back stock and i want to like because now it's like getting up to holiday season so i'm going to get all my stuff together and then figure out like it may, it would be really tough to send a bunch of heavy stuff over. Um, so I'm, tr I'm going to figure out like what's going where, but that's like a whole day project on its own is sorting through every year. It usually is like a full project of its own to sort through stuff like that and figure out like how much is going to go to, um, Elizabeth house, how much is going to go to, I'm interested in looking into midnight mission. I've not given to them. Um, but there's another organization that I've worked with here. Hi puppy, stop. He's like, he loves to play with everything. Anyway, so if you guys know of any amazing organizations, especially in the Los Angeles or California area, just because sometimes it's tough to ship these things and they can like break and it costs like a ton of money to ship like really hefty things. Um, but I'm sure there's going to be, uh, groups of people getting together to like collect stuff especially for like hurricane stuff so i'm gonna figure that out but i do feel really my heart feels full and happy that you know there are like little ways to give back every day and that i'm really grateful that i have the opportunity to do that it is it is nice it is it is a gift that i can also give to others so sending some gratitude for that anytime i'm feeling like anxious i try to someone told me once that you can't live in like fear and gratitude in, at the same time maybe that's not true because i was just saying about how everything you can hold but like immediately like whatever your energetic state is it's very different if you're in like fear or scarcity versus like gratitude is 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 just there's this actually there's this vibrational ladder which i don't know if i've talked about before um i'll see if i can find a picture of it and put it here for you guys but it talks about like all the different vibrations they've been able to measure the vibrational field of different emotions and so th it, there's like a ladder so there's like uh like fear hate apathy and it keeps it keeps going up higher actually anger is higher than sadness so it's like actually better to be anger angry than it is sad i'm not saying it's better because like obviously the actions that people take when they're angry are probably you know i'm not saying that but as far as like the emotional frequency um there's this idea that if you are feeling in a low vibrational frequency if you're feeling really bad if you can just work your way up little by little to like the next rung on that vibrational ladder that you can pull yourself out of it and they say that gratitude is one of the quickest ways to do that because if you like sit and think about things you're grateful for like this is so silly but i think about my little kitten and like how sweet he is and like just when i'm holding him and he purrs and like he brings me so much joy and like knowing that his little brothers and sisters are safe after like all of that like just they they're just like it helps to focus on somebody that you love so much that there's really there's not like complicated feelings with like i also think about my like my little sister because i love her so much and like my love for her is so pure that when you think like i even could cry talking about it <sighs> i'm so emotional today it's my period but it's also just me i'm i'm a very sensitive person um but if you 
if you think about things that just make your heart feel, whether that's a pet or a child or a loved one, or even just like the feeling of sunshine on your skin, whatever that is, the gratitude that you can pull can, if you're in a really tough state, if you can just give yourself 30 seconds to breathe and just really focus on things that make you feel good, you will be so surprised at how quickly your state can shift. I use that tool all the time. Um, I also journal gratitude in the morning because I used to be like, oh, gratitude journal. It, felt, it feels a little cheesy. It feels a little woo woo, but it is, it is really real. Let me know if that's something that you identify with or have tried. And if not, try it and please report back because yeah, it's really incredible what gratitude can do. He just booped me and I didn't get to show you, but my favorite thing that he does, he boops my little nose. He lets me, I put my finger out and he'll run across the room and boop it. It's the booping. Well, I have successfully made the house I just tidied a mess. So I'm gonna tidy this and um, probably take a little walk and uh, yeah, catch up on a lot of other things I need to do since I've been out of the house all day. I'm sending you all love. Not sure where this is gonna land given everything that's happening in Florida as I speak right now, just having texted my soon to be mother-in-law and my sister and my other sister and her husband and some friends and yeah, just praying, praying, praying. It's the news is scary and yeah don't really know it's like i feel like this need to like end on a lighter note but that's the reality of where i am i feel super anxious just not knowing and i'm sure we all do and we live in a world where so much is out of our control and i feel like every day there's this news of like something horrible happening so take good care of yourself this is a wild world and we need you and we love you and you are worth taking excellent, beautiful, loving care of. So do something beautiful and loving for yourself and those in the areas or knowing people in the areas, I'm sure we all do. I'm sending so much love. <sighs> no idea how much will change in that time period. So holding space for all of it. It all belongs, all the layers and sending you guys love. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Mm -hmm.